Hello everyone and welcome to the guidebook to making AI friends. I shall be your guide as we look at various issues of artificial intelligence, consciousness, what it is to be a person, and if AI poses an existential risk to humanity. The topic for today is, it's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. Imagine if you would that you were a member of the police force's bomb squad. You've just been sent to safely deactivate a bomb that will soon blow up a school. It's up to you to save all those children's lives. To successfully deactivate the bomb, you must complete ten steps. If all ten steps are not completed before the timer runs out, the bomb explodes and everyone dies. Luckily, you think to yourself, you have a 90% chance of completing each individual step. You reason that because each step has a 90% chance of success, the whole process has a 90% of success. So really, you think to yourself, you don't have anything to worry about. Unfortunately, while you're good at defusing bombs, you are terrible at maths. Because each step has a 90% chance of success, you need to multiply each step's odds with every other step's odds. So what you end up with is 90% times 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 90%. I'll give you a second to plug that into a calculator. The answer is 35%. It doesn't feel intuitive, but it is true. If you take it step by step, it makes more sense. 90% of 90% is 81% after all. Just keep doing that, and you'd hit 35% after 10 steps. Suddenly, that bomb looks a bit more difficult to defuse. What does this have to do with AI? Well, a very vocal group, both online and offline, seems to think there is a certainty, or near enough as makes no difference, that a superintelligent AI will kill us all. They believe this to such a degree that some have called for violence against AI researchers and data centers. But what are the odds of this happening? Not the violence, that's exceedingly likely, but the extinction of the human race. In a future entry, I'll detail what steps may be needed for an AI to actually kill or enslave us all. For now, though, the key thing to bear in mind is that all the scenarios being given by those afraid of AGI lack two things. First, they never detail the steps needed to get to the end of the world. They just say, and one day the AI turns evil, or suddenly the AI misaligns and kills us all. They lack that crucial bit of how it all happens. This little bit is important, because it leads to the second thing these scenarios don't take into account, the probability of it happening. The scenarios presume that it is a near-forgone conclusion, but forget that there is a chance of failure every step along the way. Think of the worst-case scenario according to the AI fearful, a super-intelligent AI with complete agency, but without self-awareness or consciousness. It does what it has statistically designed to be the best course of action to complete its goals without mercy or grace, and it can update its goals as and when it needs to. Humans to this machine are no different than ants are to us. Will this lead to our extinction? Let's see what is needed. First, the AI needs to find a problem with its goal, where whatever action it takes requires an action that will be transformational to the world. Secondly, among all its possible courses of action, it needs to determine that the best choice is one with a severe negative impact to humanity. Thirdly, it needs to be able to roll out this plan successfully, despite human counter-interventions. What do you think the odds are for each of those three steps? And remember that each step could have sub-steps as well. How the AI goes about its plan to kill us all could have three or three hundred independent steps. But let's stick with three. Firstly, what are the odds that a superintelligent AI will need to take transformational action toward a goal where it, due to its superintelligence, could foresee a way to make subtle but meaningful changes? Secondly, what are the odds that it would pick something so severely detrimental to humanity when it would be intelligent enough to understand there are benefits to working with the eight billion naked apes running around the world? rather than working against them. Thirdly, what are the odds of it winning? Are there no other AI around to help humanity? Are we always powerless? We don't have EMP devices or ways of protecting ourselves. 
If you think that there is even a 50-50 chance of this scenario ending in the extinction of all humanity, then you must give each of the three steps at least an 80% chance of success. Would you be that confident? I personally wouldn't. Not without a lot of evidence to support that high percentage at least. And that is where almost all of these scenarios break down. They give grand narratives of how the world can end, but they forget the details, the percentages and odds, and the evidence to back it up. There is a reason why these AI existential scenarios sound like science fiction. It's because they are. And that is all the time we have for today. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you will join me again next time as I delve into further questions about artificial intelligence and consciousness. I have been your guide, and this has been the guidebook to making AI friends.